Hello everyone, welcome back. If you are new to my channel, my name is April and in today's video, I'm so super excited to be sharing with you my very first Kmart hack. This cubby house was an early Christmas gift for my niece. So we decided to give this cubby house a farmhouse inspired look. So stick around to see this transformation and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to support my channel and to be notified every time I upload a video. So without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So guys, before I started off painting this cubby house, I decided to take the roof off since we were painting this roof in a different color. Now that the roof is off, it's time to start painting this cubby house. Here I'm using leftover wall paint which I've already got in hand to paint this cubby house. So guys, you might be wondering why I'm using interior wall paint for an outdoor cubby house. Well, this cubby house was going to be placed under cover, so it was totally fine to use interior paint. However guys, if you are planning to leave your cubby house outdoors, I would totally advise you to get some exterior paint for your cubby house. So I decided to use my spray gun for this project because I wanted to finish painting before the sun sets. This was so easy and quick to do. I gave this cubby house two coats of paint, setting it to dry in between coats. While the cubby house was drying, I started on painting my roof. I chose a dark grey for the roof since I wanted to have that farmhouse theme I was after. I gave the roof two coats of paint and set it aside to dry. Once the cubby house and the roof was dry, I then placed the roof on the cubby house and fixed it back together. Afterwards, using some black chalk paint which I've already got in hand, I decided to paint the roof and window trims of this cubby house to give it that farmhouse look. Before I started on the window trim, I decided to use some painter's tape and place the painter's tape on the edges of the windows. Once I was done with my painter's tape, I then used the same black chalk paint and painted my window trims. Now the cubby house is all painted and ready to be decorated. Here I'm using two shelf brackets which I've already got in hand that I decided to fix at the edge of the roof. Afterwards, I decided to go get a door knocker from my local hardware store and fix it onto the cubby house door. Next, using my tape measure, I measured the center of the door and fixed my door knocker. Afterwards, once the paint had dried on my windows, I then peeled out all of my painter's tape and then checked for any paint bleed. Next, I decided to customize this cubby house. Since my niece's birthday is on the 7th, I chose the number 7 for this cubby house. Afterwards, I got some solar lights from my local hardware store and hung it on the brackets which I fixed previously. Next, I went ahead and placed some foam mats in my cubby house. The next day, I went back into my local hardware store and got some greenery to add into my planters. These artificial hedge tiles worked perfectly, I didn't even have to cut it out. Next, I decided to use a four sheepskin rug and a couple of cushions to dress up the inside of this cubby house. Afterwards, to finish this cubby house and to give it the look I wanted, I decided to use a tea set to place inside my cubby house since my niece loves to host tea parties. So this is how this cubby house turned out. I'm in love with it. Hope you guys got inspired and got some ideas to do your next cubby house. Okay guys, that's it for today. Hope you got inspired and enjoyed watching this video. Please give this video a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit that bell to support my channel and to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, happy crafting!